Welcome back to the Lockout Men Podcast Show. And in this segment of Breaking Truckers, man, we're looking at TikToker Trucker Misses from TikTok. Yes, sir. This 26, this 26K follower uh, TikToker is in the LBCQ community. Yes, sir. She is a trans woman doing her thing in the, the trucking industry where now, I get questions like this all the time from people in nursing homes. So I'm going to help you out here. I know you see this. I know you see this. And I know you see this. And I know for a fact you see that. So how are you confused? They're coming. They're here. We better get used to it, man. They're here. The, the, the alphabet community are now integrating into trucking so guys we better get used to having them here doing the damn thing they better not have no entitlement though you know because if they coming in here inspecting entitlement you're in the wrong industry because you're gonna have to do everything that a woman does and a man does even though you're a trans uh you're a transgender shout out to trucker misses in this clip we about to look at the woo she came a long way she came a long way she showed that as a welder back in the day she used to do the damn thing to them welding she said she weld parts to like f-150 trucks or something like that man but yeah man this it's crazy that she was in there doing her thing no more wasting time let's get it hold on Okay, we're going to get into this real quick. But first thing, let me say, if even one of you motherfucking bitches say something about the way I look in this motherfucking video, I'll find you, I'll push you down, I'll snatch your purse, and I'll peel your fucking pockets back. But anyway, let's get into it. So this is the F-150 exhaust for a 3.5 liter motor. Uh, so if you have an F-150 that was produced between the years of 2014 and 2017, look at that exhaust. You're going to see either a W193 Charlie or W193 Paul. And what that is, is going to tell you um, where that exhaust was made at. If it's got a, a W193 Charlie, I probably produced it. Uh, welded it, I'm sorry. So anyway, getting into it though, you weld the 360 around. It's pretty simple. It can be a little difficult. Um, you have to have a steady hand to weld the 360. Once you do that, you spin it again, you add the hangers. The hangers is imperative because this exhaust is going to be put on the vehicle by the hangers. That's how exhaust is um, mounted to the vehicle by the hangers. Um, anyway, moving forward, it's four welds you're going to do here on the hangers. Pretty simple. You have to weld that first one with one hand because you have to hold the hanger while you do it. Moving forward though, I love doing this uh, type of work. It was really nice and fun. It just, um, it paid six figures. It just got burnt. I got burnt out on it. The summers were very hot. The winters were very cold. But anyway, um, coming up here, you're going to see where that hanger that I put on there, you're going to see where I welded it, pre-welded that hanger before I put it on. And you'll see how beautiful the bead is. You can't really see anything on this one, whether it's good or bad because the camera's so far back. I apologize, but um, here we go. Beautiful bead. All right, guys, what do you guys think? Leave your comments in the comments below. That's what's going on. She's uh, She came from being the man doing the doing welding and everything to being a female in the trucking industry doing her thing what do you guys think shout out to all of them that's here in the industry that's you know that's coming out of the closet and showing their independence and what they can do whether they're whether they're not in the trucking industry or in the trucking industry it should not be no uh discrimination against them well that's gonna do it thank you for watching this segment of breaking truckers on the lockout man podcast show